What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So let's jump in. And I didn't do a daily increase for my members this morning. So let me see. Uh, we call this one a daily inspiration. I call it a bonus. I was waiting on uh, my beautiful deck to come in here. So let's see. What is today? This is a daily inspiration. I used to do these back in the day when I was too late to get the daily increase out. So let's see. Let's let's do an old-fashioned daily inspiration. Spirit, what is the energy of today that Sagittarius may not see is actually working for them and that they may actually be working against? What is that energy for this daily inspiration for my lovely members here? Because this is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, as well as the ninth house. Very particular, ooh -hoo, very particular messages here on the Mandrill Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest. So we have stepping into stillness. That's the energy that is actually on offer today. It's what you're being asked of. It's what's working for your good. But there's a struggle to lean into it, okay? It says, my, my power is born in the majesty of silence. Let's see. Brand new deck. Y'all know I'm going to bring it with y'all and, and uh, share that with y'all. So let's see what this message is saying from the book before we dive in with the tarot. The universe wants you to know that deep within you is an inner sanctuary. Having that inner peace, however, doesn't mean that there isn't chaos or disharmony around you. It means that no matter what is occurring in your life, you can observe it from a place of stillness. Surrender to the sweet energy of quietude. Avoid the temptation to embrace the drama and urgency of life. Affirm that you have all the time you need. Power is born in stillness and your potential is dramatically expanding in the majesty of silence. So, you know, instantly this is really giving me the energy family of those moments that um, awaken and like you immediately want to have this negative response to. You don't have to give in to that, okay? Ascending and finding a place of peace doesn't mean that the external environment does does the same, right? It says that um, it doesn't mean that there's not chaos or in drama around you, but you don't have to react to it in that way. Prime example, the, another reason why the daily increase has not been released is because your girl's having car issues and I can't get, it just seems like it's get a new car season, but anywho, so um, I was upset that my mechanic was not answering your girl's call and hadn't showed up. My inner, you know, the inner demon was trying to rear his head. You know what I'm saying? But I had to fight hard not to allow that to be the case. The drama has not ceased, but you have healed. So, like, you are healing. So, you can't be out here acting like you're not in your healing season, right? That's the energy that this is giving. Give me just one second, family. So let's dive in and see what's where's Sagittarius at. Here, like, let me just see Sagittarius in this uh, daily inspiration spirit. Stillness. Uh, wow! Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Accept what is, <laughs> and take a deeper look. Like that shit that's going on, that chaos, that drama that's going on around you. You gotta accept that shit for what it is. It's three o'clock in the evening. Well, four o'clock in the afternoon. My mechanic still ain't showed up over here. Still ain't showed up over here. Okay? So, I could be upset about that and cause a scene, right? Or I can understand that. Hold on. Baby, take a second. Take What is God working out in this moment? What is your divine working out in this moment? Take a deeper look and proceed softly. Who Opening it to love. Dwelling in the truth. I ain't picking up another card. But look. Accepting what is. Looking deeper at what is accept it for what it is at first glance you may not think that this shit has anything to offer you but a damn headache 
But if you take a deeper look, you might actually see the medicine to softening your approach to the situation. And in doing so, it's actually opening your heart. It's opening you to love. Okay? So, definitely going to take a deeper, leak, a, a deeper look here. Let's see, Spirit. Mm -mm -mm. Where is Sagittarius? Show me Sagittarius currently. How is Sagittarius currently showing up, Spirit? How is Sagittarius currently uh, uh, showing up? Like I said, opening up. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, Sag is worried about, you know, how Sag is showing up. It's like, look. Yeah, nine of pen, uh, the Ten of Cups is here. The Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the day. So Sag is like, I'm just looking after my hat. Like, I'm just trying to sit down and create something stable and solid for my uh, a beautiful, happy togetherness. You know, that's what Sag 555 five, five is on that timer. Damn. Um, let me slow down. The Ten of Baskets here. Um, this is the Ten of Cups. So how Sag is showing up here is like, I'm just trying to do the right thing, provide a stable, solid foundation, provide the nourishment. There are five cups and five bows. That's where the Ten Baskets are coming from in this. So, and there are six people here. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like the energy of... It's not to say that she doesn't have her cup. You just can't see it. Ooh. Baby. It's not to say that she doesn't have her cup. You just can't see it in this picture. But that doesn't mean that she's not taking care of like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You got to get a different angle. So how Sag is showing up is it's almost like trying, Sag is showing up and um, really seeing what you're bringing to the table and see even though yours might be different if you get to a different perspective if you embrace this stillness then you can get a different perspective as she is sitting on the moon okay that's so crazy because i have a baby sister brenda but i also have an aunt brenda and um i used to be as a child i used to always say that i would see my aunt brenda sitting on this moon so i think it's so funny that so much of my adult life has seen someone sitting on that moon there, you know. Um, but I definitely feel like that Sagittarius, how you're currently showing up, is actually understanding your worth and seeing what it is that is important and the necessity to gain a different perspective before you sacrifice your happiness on an immediate response. What's going on internally for Sagittarius? What's going on internally for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? This is a beautiful reading so far. I hope that this message is offering you some guidance, guys. If it is, we would appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you. So internally, we have the Ace of Wands. There's some sort of epiphany that's going on inside of you. But internally, you're at war with it. You're fighting it. Look at those deer, elk. That's what they are. It's elk. All right. Sorry about that, family. But um, so the Ace of Wands, is, it's like internally, there is some sort of creative... The Ace of Wands is a spark of passion, a spark of creativity, okay? So internally, there's some sort of epiphany. There's some sort of spark that's going off internally for you. And you're actually being urged to go for it. But there's something internally that you battle with it. You're not allowing yourself to fully embrace this epiphany here. The King of Pentacles, this is definitely going to... Put the food on the table if that's what you're worried about. It's definitely going to be the thing that puts the food on the table. What's going on externally here?
What's going on externally for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? The Seven of Pentacles. It is actually coming out as a challenge. So I feel like there's also there's like prior obligations. Prior obligations could be causing, could be influencing this, you actually going after this epiphany. Okay, so prior obligations. Yeah, five of one, a five of swords here. So there's definitely like some sort of prior obligations, like you've already planted certain seeds, and you're hell bent and determined to win and and harvest something for that at all cost. Yeah, yeah, four of pentacles. I'm holding on. Do, 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 do. That's giving me the four of pentacles energy And it's like I'm not letting nothing in Nothing is coming in Nobody's coming to break this fight Ooh. You're waiting on someone, someone in your world You're defending at all costs Externally you're, you know that somebody is going to overcome you're going to overcome some sort of war. But somebody, what I love about this particular Five of Swords is that these two people are fighting. Fighting like fucking cats and dogs. This person back here, they know exactly what they're doing. They're watching. It's like this person has the truth and clarity to shed, to bring this to cease. To help these people see that if they work together, they actually balance each other out. Okay, but this person is per is preferring confirmation to watch these two battle confirmation. So it's like step into stillness. Somebody around you is inciting conflict around you. Somebody is in your energy, which is why you're being told to be peace, be still. Don't respond. Don't react. Something is working against you right now, Sag. Right now, how I got you showing up is really like just going all right for you. You got every like for real, for real. Ten of Cups is happy energy. However, I feel like that there's this you're not necessarily seeing it. There's a need to gain a different perspective. You got to shift. You got to shift around. You may not see that you in the Ten of Baskets. Which is why you're conflicting after going after this. Because you may have someone that is inciting some sort of conflicting energy around you. And you may be like, like, mm. let me see what's going on here. I don't like this energy. Because somebody, but don't worry because the ancestors are here to help you. Okay. The ancestors are here to help you. So, Spirit, let me see. Show me this Ace of Wands for what's going on internally for Sagittarius. The, yeah. The, the Knight of Wands is what is here. So there's definitely this spark, some sort of spark of creativity. It's igniting some sort of new adventure inside of you. But it's like, with the Seven of Wands here, it's like you're going about it in a kind of like, not so high, like, I don't know, the strategy. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I don't like this energy. I don't like that this is here. And I know that externally there's something like you've got your seat, like you've got prior obligations. That's what this has given me. External influence was stopping you from seeing what's going on is external, obli like external obligations, like, this is a season to be happy. This is a season to be celebrating. This is a season to go be traveling, adventuring. But you may be holding yourself back due to prior obligations, fear, and anxiety. And that's someone's purpose and intentions. So the way that you're strategizing is based off of the conflict for somebody else. And Spirit is saying, if you just peace be still, if you just stop, I'm working it out for you. If you just stop, Spirit is working it out for you. You can actually go after, like, you can actually 
mentally and emotionally embrace this Ace of Pentacles. You don't have to keep stopping and saying, oh, but what about this? And oh, what about this? And oh, but this. You don't have to keep doing that. Mm -mm. It's all working out in your favor. It's working out quicker. It says the my power is born in the majesty of silence. It's actually working out the 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 quicker. It's working out quicker. The less you look at the external negative aspects of it. So if you don't focus on that, you don't have to focus on that. Because by focusing on that, that's what you're drawing in. Have faith that because this epiphany is coming to you in this season of your life, that this is what you're aligned to. So all you have to do is take these steps with faith and everything else is going to fall into place. Okay? Like, why is this person swimming here in this with the alligators on faith? Now, don't you go do no foolishness. But it may feel like going after this epiphany is like jumping into the creek with the alligators. You know what I'm saying? Let me see these external. Somebody's got something invested in keep. Like, somebody's got heavy stock. External influences is there's somebody that's got heavy stock and keeping you where you at. They only reap some sort of benefit or gain by keeping you where you're at. Okay, so let's see. What's the what's the seven of pentacles for the external in, influence? Wow, the high priestess and the six of pentacles. You're definitely holding on to something like externally. There could be a Pisces, someone with earth highly aspected, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But the external energy is definitely some sort of repressed emotion about something finally. Like somebody is wanting something to balance out. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's hell bent trying to win at all costs to 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 bring you to <sighs> someone who's definitely trying like externally there's this energy of trying to balance something out at all cost and there is a repressed desire about that and because of that repressed desire to balance something out externally to you it's like you're not allowing yourself to just be in flow and at ease because what if you allow yourself to be at flow and at ease and you start things start changing and this one thing that i am hell bent on keeping grass because i am like i've got got prior obligations that i'm trying to win at all costs I'm not willing to like ain't nobody can't nobody handle that the way that I can handle that. It's per, it's not allowing you to go after. You know what I'm saying? It's not allowing you to surrender to the flow. Let me see something here. Take a moment to enter into the into the silence, deep into the silent deep place within you. Be still. Let go of everything. Focus on what is truly important. Imagine spiraling down into the source of your essence. Breathe deeply, allowing your body to relax into the present moment, the here and now. There's definitely something that Spirit is asking you to surrender and allow it to fall by the wayside if it falls. But there's also the energy of like, yeah, but I'm not willing to say. Like, I, that's too much to risk is the energy that this is giving me. And because of that, you may actually be keeping yourself still and stagnant. Does this resonate, honey? <laughs> Let's see, what is, what's, what's the universe want to add on this? Actually, before I do that, let's see something. I would typically use this. What is the energy that is on offer through this situation here? What is the energy that is actually being offered to Sagittarius 
through this. Wow, Lady Nadia. Expanding heart. That's the energy that is on offer. Openness, liberation. Let yourself love and be love. Acts of service with Ascendant Master Jesus is here. Oh my goodness. It says, when you serve, the universe serves you. So what's on offer is to actually step up and serve others. And through doing so, the universe is able to step in and actually save you from situations that you've inadvertently put yourself in okay so instead of looking at doing something for someone that you feel like that they're not deserving of it spirit is saying like uh-uh that causes too much friction you don't like trying to sit that high is causing you too much friction what's your heart say if your heart say go for it go for it and by doing so you inadvertently are the universe is obligated to come in and save you from a situation that you got yourself into now don't go out here with the intentions of oh let me go do this because i'm trying to get my back scratch real quick no that's not the energy it's just like understanding that when i am of service for the universe the universe comes through for me like i need the universe to come through and it, and inadvertently what happens is your heart opens up this is a beautiful reading, honey. Y'all tell me down in the description box because I was just going to upload this on members and not let this be like I was going to leave it here on members. But baby, something about this is screaming the people may need. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm going to let y'all decide. Ooh, Lord. All right, Spirit. What's going on? You can handle this. Oh my goodness. You can handle this. Surrender. Trust one time that you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? And whatever it is that you're hell bent on holding on to, trust that I'm going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's uncomfortable. That's scary. I, was, I, was a, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? But it says there's a wise, sign, a wise saying you are never given more than you can handle. Tune into your heart to reconnect to your strength. Practice self-compassion. That's why you're needing to go into this moment of stillness. Um, see yourself with loving kindness. Acknowledge your growth as an empath and honor the person you have become. <sighs> Quiet the mind. Absolutely. Everything about this is saying like, ooh, come and talk to me. <laughs> One of your spirit guides really wants to talk to you. One of your, oh, I'm going to cry. Somebody on your spirit team wants to talk to you. They want to teach you how to comfort yourself. They want to teach you how to love and talk to yourself. This is somebody that sees your worth. This is somebody that sees your worth. And they see that you're not seeing your worth in your everyday life. Oh my gosh, this could be a Virgo. Oh my gosh, get out and get out of the house. Get out. Quiet your get out of the house with the intentions of quieting your mind. I'm not you're not going outside. Somebody needs to hear this message. Somebody is beckoning to be like somebody is like, I just need to know that somebody is out there with my having my back. Yo, I've been there. I've done that. I feel you. Baby, get outside because when your spirit team touches you, baby, it's up from there. Like, baby, you're going to really have a magical experience. Somebody on your spiritual team is beckoning to teach you, to touch you, to show you the way for you to comfort yourself. Confirmation. Who comfort is an inside job. Speak to yourself with a loving, in a loving, positive way. Do something that nourishes you. Know in this moment, all is well. Oh my goodness. Beautiful reading, but y'all not getting ready to turn me into a bitch today, honey. Nuh-uh. All right, spirit. I just heard Archangel Michael, so we'll close it out with that for sure. All right, spirit. What's the numerology message for this daily inspiration here? Thank you. Taking initiative. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to watch the playback. 1221. 
Yeah, y'all know there's, I think there's like two 1221s in here or something like that. One says good luck and one says taking initiative, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, before I read it, we can ready to do this. Because I got a whole lot of people up in here with 1221 or 1212 and their birthday. And we matters. Okay, no, it's not. But anyways, take an initiative. Um, it says change, optimism, joy, communication, messages, good news, expression, high vibration, high vibes. Work with what you have and it will get you places. Count your blessings and acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out a way forward. You might also be getting some good news. Whoo! So definitely embrace the this time without feeding into the drama. You know, there's some sort of new beginning here at the bottom of the deck. And what I found significant is that 0909 is here. And then 1010 is at the top. So let's read both of those. Because what's coming in for you is a new beginning. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure unravels. And then 1010 is saying it's up to you. And then we have it taking the initiative. So it says... Um, it's time to put those long cherished ideas into actions. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust the process. Don't, don't allow yourself to be too overreactive at this time as I do feel like that it's leading you towards something so beautiful, so new, so grand, so transformative, so different than what you're used to but it is exactly what you have been longing for and desiring all your life peace love and light